You cannot see. What Ezekiel is talking about. If the body is still controlling your spirit, if your body is still controlling your spirit, you are helping the enemy to delay you. Delay will still be your portion. Even if God said no more delay, now it is important because now when now your spirit is awake, your spiritual eyes will be sharp. You will be able to see things from afar. You will be able to see what is has been making you to make mistakes. And you will be able to rectify the mistakes this year. And if the flesh is taking over, you are able to hear the preaching of the devil. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? But when your spirit is awake, in the making of, of people, what if I meet in your computer? In your own office. People will begin to hear you say, I will do good ever. Satan. Get behind me. So you move around. And people begin to say something is not right. Why are you pressure? It's because there is a thought that the enemy planted in your mind. And you don't want to entertain. And the only way is to rebuke it. Now the problem that makes us. You begin to see things. 
Yes. 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 No, I want to challenge you this day. It was not the end with 21 that we were entering in. Throughout the year, every week, Lucky feet. begin to have a day that you call it the day of sitting the Lord for my family. Now it is your day that you want the Lord to keep this fire burning. You don't want to see this fire going down. You know what, what makes you to be to be easy that you can you can talk better about your father? Mr. Flesh is more than a when the spirit is over than the flesh, even if you can see the mistake I've done, the spirit man will stand and come and say, Father, I pray for my father. I will keep him. He will open his eyes. But when the flesh will begin to tell everybody, God forbid it will not happen, but you begin to say, That guy, that guy. I'm no longer your father, you, you, you call me that guy. Look at the name and say, Mr. Flesh. Must die. Just hold it, just hold it. If you want to follow me, deny yourself. Self must die. One of the things that we kill self is through fasting. Fasting kills self. Because it is no longer about what we have. It's no longer about how much we have in your body. But it's about God who gave you everything. You're no longer blind. But you begin to glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want to say, fasting or fasting life is supposed to be our lifestyle as a Christian. It's supposed to be a lifestyle. It's supposed to be like a culture to us. It's supposed to be in a point to say it is not, it is impossible to live without doing it. Because some of the things you want to move, unless you take effort. It is one of the one of the signs that God, one of the signs that God understands. That you are saying, Father, I'm serious about praying. I'm serious about praying. The book of Esther. I will just give it to you and then we are going to pray. It's in the book of chapter 4. Chapter 4. Verse number 16. Verse 16. But you can go through that chapter 4. And begin to understand something there. The Bible here says. Esther. Was chosen to become a queen in the palace. And she was not deserving to become a queen. Because she was not of that time. But now. The grace put him there. Now, I 